Fisheries biologists spend a lot of time in the fall surveying district lakes and the Missouri River system in North Dakota, investigating natural fishery production, spring fish stocking success, and forage conditions. From a fisheries management perspective, these fall reproduction surveys give us good information on making stocking decisions for the following year. So if we've got you know, good reproductive success this year, uh, we might not need to stock as many fish next year to maintain that fishery. Or if we've got great forage conditions, uh, that might lead us to increase our stocking rates. Bailey says biologists have different methods they use when conducting the surveys, and the method they employ depends on the water body they're sampling. For example, in our flowing uh, habitats, like our rivers and streams, we typically use electrofishing because we can't set our more traditional gill nets and trap nets uh, in waters that are flowing. But in our uh, lakes and reservoirs, uh, we more typically use a combination of small mesh gill nets and trap nets to assess these fish communities. When sampling the Missouri River, biologists are electrofishing at night when the fish are in the shallows. The electrofishing is only effective down to a depth of six feet and it takes a lot of skill by the boat driver and the people dipping the fish. It's more skill reliant than uh, say setting our trap nets and gill nets that are what we call a passive uh, sampling technique that you know anyone should be able to go set a gill net the same way and it'll fish the same way. We tend to get more repeatable results from our, our gill netting and trap netting operations than we do from our electrofishing. Whether the biologists are electrofishing or setting gill and trap nets, they're gathering the information needed to make good management decisions for our North Dakota lakes and rivers. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.